Hello, how are you going everyone? I hope you're all well today. In this video, I just want to provide you with the latest info to make sure you can get your Nano Ledger S working with your MetaMask smoothly. Just yesterday, I spent about two hours trying to figure out why my Na Ledger Nano S wasn't working properly in conjunction with my MetaMask. For some reason, it was working fine on the BSC network, but not on the Ethereum network. So if you are having the same problem as I was, then this video might be just what you're looking for. By the way, this is more or less an update video. So if you need a basic beginner's tutorial with a complete walkthrough on how to get started setting up your Ledger Nano S with your MetaMask app from scratch in a step-by-step -step process, please check out my video on the top right now. After you watch that, then please return back here for the latest info. Before we get started though, please be sure to throw me a like, hit that subscribe button and activate the bell button so you can be notified of any of my future time sensitive videos. So without further ado, let's get started. So after wasting hours trying to figure out what was wrong with my Ledger S yesterday, in the end it was a relatively simple solution and I should have figured this out a lot earlier to be honest. Anyway, simply open up your Ledger Live app on your computer and go to the manager and connect your device. Here it will show you if there are any updates. And if there are any updates available, it will reinstall your Ethereum app on your device. So before you do that, please double check you have a copy of your seed phrase before just as a precaution. Once your Ethereum app is updated, you just need to go to, into your settings on your Nano Ledger device and set this to blind signing, which they used to call contract data. So your Nano S can interact with your dApps through your MetaMask. So now you should be good to go. Okay, so now all you have to do is make sure your MetaMask is set up correctly. Okay, so that's really easy. And after that, I'll do a quick transaction. Top there, go to Settings, and then Advanced. Okay, and then scroll right down to the bottom, and use Ledger Live. Okay, so this will allow a bridge, so you'll easily be able to use your, your browser and select that on to on okay all right guys so now if I want to use my my ledger within my MetaMask I have to open up my ledger live app okay so I have to make sure that's open first so if that's password protected you'll need to sign into it Okay, so now, if I want to use my MetaMask, all I need to do is I want to send, if I want to send something, let me see, I want to send something between accounts, for example, might send 0 0.05 between my account, click there, confirm that, now it's asking me to uh, open Ledger Live, okay? So I'm gonna click that box. Always allow MetaMask, okay, with this app. Open Ledger Live. And it's gonna have this message here. Expose your device accounts through WebSocket, okay? Um, there's no risk there, guys, so just push open. Okay, and that's going to open that bridge, and now you're ready to go. All right, so now on my Ledger Nano S, I can actually see a review transaction. All right, so I click that. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, click that, and I'm going to need to double click it. All right, and that's going through. Okay, and that's sent. All right, so that went through perfectly. 
So whenever you use your MetaMask account connected to your Ledger device, you need to open up your Ledger Live app and also connect to your physical Nano Ledger S. I hope that makes sense. I hope this helps. Uh, I really wish MetaMask would provide better support. Um, anyway, it is what it is. By the way, if you have ever used Ledger official support before, please let me know how they were. I hope you could find this helpful and I could save you some stress. Good luck to you with your crypto investments and please be careful out there as there are many scammers. Often they try to impersonate official staff so don't trust anyone and never ever ever give your seed phrase or private key to anyone ever. Okay. Okay then, that's all for today. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye for now.